guys, this is Ron from Clarksville Diggers. Got a little scenario here. Woke up this morning. Seems like we got a blackout. We don't have an AMP because I can still hear cars going, but no power. We don't know how long it's going to last. Power could come on soon. Next thing, or this could be uh, something of a bigger magnitude. Who knows? So I want to cook some eggs. And I thought, well, I got a gas grill, got charcoal fire pit, but I don't want to use all my resources. So I do got this rocket stove that I made. It's kind of warm. And my heat's coming out of there. I got me a little, a little skillet plate. And if you don't know what a rocket stove is, research while you still can, while you got internet. I made mine out of blocks, but there's a special block down here on the bottom. It's just like this, except it don't, the ends are open and you can buy them like that. And the reason for that, because when I do my kindling, my fire is going through here. It's going through that open block. Now this is a regular block, just like that. And it creates a chimney and the heat's going up and these small little tower blocks, as I call them, this is what my skillet sits on. I was wanting some eggs. I thought, well, I'm gonna cook them like this. It's working. It helps if you got some good dried kindling because it took me a little while to get this going. This is not about a cooking show, though food is involved. Some says, I thought this was gonna be metal detecting. Well, hopefully that'll come soon. I am gonna be talking about metal detecting, but not in the sense that so many here are accustomed to. And, uh, Me, I think some of y'all realize that I've got other interests too. I'm a little bit of a survivalist. I'm very proactive. And I don't like to react to a situation after it happens. I like to always be prepared. breakfast you know sometimes just turning your your head away keeping your head in the dirt is not going to make something go away I've been watching the markets I've been listening to certain key individuals I see how our economy's going I see how price of food is going up and certain availability of certain foods are getting harder to come by. We're $22 trillion in debt and it's still climbing. This country's broke, folks. You may say, well, I've got a lot of money in the bank. I got a whole lot of $50 and 20s in my pocket. I'm doing pretty good. That's fiat currency. That's paper. That's more just promissory notes. Overnight, that can, the dollar has already lost so much value and people don't realize. Look what happened to Venezuela. That was one of the, or the richest country south of our border. And almost overnight, in just a period of a few days, their currency value dropped so much. Uh, I've got some connections down around that area, and they say you don't see dogs run the street no more because they're eating. And probably a few people missing too. I hate to be straight up, but when people hungry, they get desperate. We got the signs of a economic collapse going, fixing to happen. I pray to God, I'm not one of those that want it. Because it will change my life too. 
but the way things are going, it's going to happen. Too many people's putting out warning signs and nobody's listening. So now a lot of people say, what does this have to do with metal detecting? A little bit. Yet again, none at all. You know, a lot of people say, well, I can't really prepare and prep too much because it takes money. But if you shop and look around, you can find some good deals. And then again, you know, really all you need is one metal detector. But when you start having multiple ones, you know, you can't need a metal detector. <laughs> I'll just be straight up, sorry. Might lose a couple of friends on this, but hey, you know, I'm just being straight up true. But there are things that you can do. Let's say, for example, these in the store right now, you can get them 78, 80 cents a pack. Four ounce, two cups of water. You can make plenty of mashed potatoes for two people for a serving. Pasta sides and rice sides, dollar a piece. For a family of two or a couple more, stuff like this can go a long way. Dollar a pack. A lot of times from Dollar General store, you can get good deals on chicken breast. A little bit of rice, boil some rice, boil some beans, get that going. Or even uh, the rice side packs, you know, chicken can be used a lot of stuff. Best Buy 2020. But if it's kept in a stable environment, this can last a whole lot longer. Ham. Tear it up, mix it with rice. Good meat staple. 2021. Best buy. It's not the expiration. As long as it's kept in a stable temperature, these things are good for a while. And it's not that much they don't cost me. I think uh, that was probably about um, about three bucks. <laughs> in a situation, ham and chicken, it's going to be worth its weight in gold. Things like that do have value. Not everybody that said, "Well, I can't really afford." I thought the same thing too. But then I got realizing I'll never lose on that. And if nothing happens, which with all my heart, I do believe that it will. I'll have something to rely on. Need some salt and pepper. But it's okay. That was breakfast. The thing is, you know, enjoy your hobby, but there's got to be a balance. And don't forget the world that we're living in. Things can change so quickly. And I'm very passionate in what I believe in. And I see the signs. I see the unrest in government. I see the unrest in the market, how unstable it is. And when it does close in the green, it's only on speculation and feelings, not hard facts. So right there, that's a red flag for me. <sighs> Don't be caught with your pants down, folks. If something goes down, something happens, the last place you want to be is like everyone else trying to fight for food in a supermarket, grocery store, because everybody else going to be doing the same thing. And bad things can happen when people get scared and they panic. Don't be one of the victims. Think ahead. Just a little something I just wanted to throw out. I didn't have a power um, blackout. We got power. But it's always good to have options to cook. 
gas grills, um, charcoal grills are super. But charcoal will produce smoke. And in a situation that is going to alert people that you got food. Uh, I do have the smaller uh, gas grills that you use the can. And the good thing about cans, even though the wording says don't, you can refill them. And if you get the adapter, you can fill them up with bigger from the bigger cans. And while you still got time, Google and learn how to do it. Might save your life. <clears throat> but hopefully, uh, I still, again, like I said, I enjoy um, metal detecting. It's a cool hobby. Um, but I do have other interests. And... I have kind of got a little bit burned out on uh, just finding rusty metal and square nails and a handful of pennies. You know, I still will continue searching, but that is not going to be my priority. Um, in the time that we live, my priority is taking care of protecting my wife and making sure that we don't have to rely on a broken system or on other people to sustain us in a difficult time. You don't want to have to depend on others, folks. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Learn to be self-sufficient, self-reliant. And uh, just keep your eyes open, be aware, and start uh, having a little bit more in your home than just a week or two of food. While it's still here, get it. Start uh, stocking up on some cases of water while it's still cheap. Because if things happen, the value of it's gonna go up like crazy. Just like Venezuela. I think the, the last time I heard the price of a hamburger was like uh, equivalent to uh, almost like $200. Because they don't have no food. It's hard for us to understand that and comprehend because we never had to live like that. Now, our grandparents like back in the 20s or what, when had the Depression, they had to live like that. And a lot of them lost what they had. They had to start over. Can you do that? Or do you want to avoid that by being a little proactive? And uh, enjoy your hobby, enjoy your metal detecting hobby. But don't sink all of your resources into more detectors and other stuff that you can't eat. Start stocking your pantry. Start getting some five-gallon buckets with oxygen absorbers, you know. Like each bucket, you can get great deals on mashed potatoes. One five-gallon bucket can be strictly for mashed potatoes. You get that filled up. That can go a long ways. Another bucket can be rice sides. Another bucket could be pasta sides. Those three items right there, you get enough of that and put it back. It will help. Ham. Get it now while the dollar cost is low. Stuff like this will go off the shelves. Preppers know of things like this. And as things get closer, we're in a timeline that some stuff's going to happen. Trust me. A lot of this stuff is already going off the shelves. Weiss emergency food. Uh, some sites that uh, we're selling, they're already sold out. And other people starting to go up on cost. 
um, they know something. They see something. And uh, don't wait until it's too late. All right. Well, we got through the breakfast. The eggs did get cooked. Might have a little bite from Mocha. See if he likes my eggs. Come on, Mo. Here, bud. Mocha, Mocha. All right. Well, he likes them. This thing would have cooked a whole lot faster if I had the right fuel. And that's something I'm going to start doing. I'm going to have me a box with strictly small dried stick and kindling. And uh, that way I can cook that a whole lot better. I prefer to have a non-stick skillet, but oh well. This still did good, and Mocha is getting a little sample. Good boy, huh? Daddy not a bad cook. But hopefully soon we'll have a metal detecting video. Like I said, uh, Thursday I'm supposed to hook up with the individual and we're going to look at his property. And uh, I'm going to see if it's going to be worth uh, taking the time to detect. I might do it anyway. Especially if I get unlimited time to, uh, to search it. I do enjoy the hobby, like I said. And it's fun. But I need to keep my eyes and awareness on other stuff too and not just be so consumed in one thing like i said i'm proactive i'm not reactive and i try to prepare before things happen and i think we all should be like that but it is your choice i'm not here to twist anybody's arm i'm just saying what i feel and what i'm seeing better get ready Y'all have a blessed day. Joanne and I says bye and thank you for watching the video. And if you got anything out of it, then uh, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it. If not, then uh, give me a thumbs down. <laughs> I don't care, folks. I love y'all and y'all have a blessed day. And uh, keep digging the dirt life, but, uh, but keep your eyes open. Be aware of the time that we're living in right now and the things that can happen. And when a while back, Department of Homeland Security and all is telling everybody to stock up at least six months and other signs that I'm seeing, you know, to me, somebody knows something. So I may not be fully ready, but... At least I'm going to try. And hopefully y'all will too. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you soon.